Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, I'm going to show you how to build up this boss syndrome character B.S. Gainis uh, to Awakening Tire 3 from scratch. And for this season guys, I haven't even touched this character after the tragical summon session of yesterday or comedy summon session, whatever you say. That was something dope my friends and I'll talk about it later but this is why I actually wanted to show you the whole process because actually a lot of new players are actually summoning these characters and they don't really know the detailed process of building this character because, because my friends the honest truth is the strength of any of this boss syndrome or special signature or any character the main strength relies on the perfect build my friends not in playing style because playing style is kind of really easy you just go ahead and spam your skills do your 3pg and it is so easy all that matters is the build of the character and the right build and the wrong build actually makes a big difference my friends so in this video guys i'm going to show you the exact build of this character so hope uh, hope that you will uh, watch this video till the end to learn all of these processes that i'm going to talk about and I also talk about, we'll talk about some additional information as well. So that is going to be worthy. So make sure you give this video a like my friends and subscribe to my channel. And let's get into our topic today my friends. And let's go over fighters and find our guy. And it's going to be a hard time. Oh, fortunately found this guy. Okay. So here we are. So one thing I would just, just like to add that uh, yesterday I kind of get, got really really lucky and with a very low amount of ruby spending I actually able to get a lot of memories of this character and that is enough to make him 3 star. But my friends that is not an ideal ratio of memories that you may get. Actually that was very good luck and in through this video I am reminding myself I'm also reminding you as well that please do not take that video as an example that you can actually make a character 3 star with that sort of low amount of rubies please do not take it as an example my friends please stick to the previous rules that I have uh, already described that 45,000 rubies uh, to start any banner and please stick to that and if you get lucky that is totally bonus for you my friends and also another point i would like to add that you have noticed that i already have uh, more rubies so i could have just gone further and make this character five star or four star i didn't go further because first of all uh in my account actually i don't really need this character that's a different reason but even if i needed this character i would still stop at awakening level three because my friends as i have said that previously that awakening uh, level 3 is going to give you the maximum already so without uh, much further topic uh, i think i have talked enough so let's get it on our first we are going to evolve this character oh my god evolving a beast character how does it sound hell yeah hell yeah buddy uh, see our cp is uh, okay I would just uh, want to show you what are the CPs we are having right now. 6722. Uh, Please guys, remember this number and we will check the CP count once we finish our leveling up process. Okay, so let's just go and limit break this character. And to limit break this character, you actually need a lot of these memories. And... And let me just show you how many memories you will need. To totally limit break this character to level 90, you will need 600 of these uh, souls. Okay, 600 souls. And that can be either the character souls that you will be getting from the summons or maybe soul quest, etc, etc. Also, this, this character is an AS character. And let me show you what I think. I, uh, this is the tag here all star so whatever character has this tag all star is going to be able to actually use this as purple souls so 
this uh, uh, also uh, these red souls are applicable because this is a red type of character and also this multicolor soul which is applicable to all type of characters so let's just go ahead and limit break him to fully level 90 and hell yeah come on man yes we got it fully leveled up uh, okay I mean a limit broken so now we are going to do this level up thing now this character is totally on level 1 now we are just going to level him up totally up to level 90 and I actually have enough resources to do this but uh, as a new player you may not have this type of resources so you actually need to farm those resources in different places and there are certain videos in my channel that you need to check out about where you should uh, farm this type of uh, items capsules or souls or anything whatever you need so now our limit broken is done leveling up is done now we are going to check out the course and let me just unlock as much as code as possible oh good looks good right but my friends it takes a ton of you know uh, what should i say uh, resources my friends and see i'm already out of these resources now i need to farm these things uh maybe i'll do it later because you know uh, i'll need a lot of rubies uh, uh, sorry a lot of ap's actually to farm uh, these uh, uh, items in order to unlock this lot of course but basically in order to make your characters fully strong you need to unlock all these cores as a process so let me see we're actually lacking this item a lot and let me just go to this mission to hard mode actually not it was the normal mode okay so you go to the normal mode and burn some APs that said we have to still burn APs in these tick cases uh, it's kind of a bummer okay so we're going to increase some of these cores once again okay let me just pause the video and unlock all these cores then I'll see you soon so we are done with unlocking all the cores so fully core uh, leveled up but only level 90 character and look at the cp already 18,000 and no cards added no nothing my friends no nothing now we just need to just go to the affinity section and see that if uh, there is any items available to get this affinity because if we increase this affinity level to 9 we'll get some rubies at least that is going to be good see we got about 50 rubies or something like that oh bummer sorry so now we are done with our initial procedures now all we need is to awaken this character and now our uh, character is fully leveled up to level 90 and we will need one character memory to awaken this character so let's go ahead and awaken this character to level 1 hell yeah Hell yeah! Hell yeah, buddy! Look at his smile, my goodness! This guy is so sick! Okay, so we just unlocked uh, the first slot of the imprint stone. And as you can see, that there is a change of uh, the menu section already. And you'll get this imprint stones unlocked. So, first, uh, now we just need to level up this character to level 10 before proceeding further. Now we leveled him up to level 10 and now we are going to quickly just do these awakening things because we have the character memories my friend and from level 2 actually you need extra of this generic memory so let's use this 
and if you don't really have any idea about this generic memory actually hi i have tutorials in my channel where that it, it will tell you that how to create uh, this sort of generic memories if you have any issues so once again we need to level this character up we're going to use this level 2 capsules and boom leveled up to 20 look at the cps my friends it's getting up and up so sweet without any cars my friends so now let's just awaken him once again and for the final time my friends for the final time and once again we'll need two of these generics and one of character memory and that's it my friends that will be the awakening level three hell yeah hell yeah cool so we are done and as you can see that if i try to proceed further to awaken this character to uh, try awaken level four or maybe five i will need two character memories instead of one that i have already saw, showed you that from awakening tire one to three you will need one memory character memory but for after three to five you will need two character memory for each tire and that is so difficult my friends now we're just going to once again level this character up okay cool cool stuff and one thing i'd like i'd just like to add that i have just fully leveled up my uh bs guineas in terms of leveling up and guess what is my rhd level i'm currently on rhd level 24 and technically that is enough my friends to face all these limited banners where actually need to uh, level you characters really really quick that is the added point so now we have leveled up here we don't have any awakening thing in Princeton we're going to deal later but let me just add some capsules and these capsules will once again increase a lot of CPs as you can see uh, probably we can add some bit more HP capsule let me just check it out okay so we added all the uh, capsules and as you can see 129 capsules you can add uh, to your characters if the character is leveled up to awakening tire 3 and of course you, you can add some more if you are going to level him up to tire 4 or tire uh, 5 you will be getting some more so but this is what it is for us so let's go ahead with it look at the cp my friends 31,000 so far without any sort of cars now let's just go to the oh first uh also let's just go and check out the imprint stone status my friends and from the event section here we go to the events and as you can see that we have a bunch of things that we need to obtain that is going to be the first one second one and the third one the three imprint stones that we are getting for free and whenever you are going to awakening your character you will be getting this uh, uh, st stone selection boxes for free and all you need to collect it from here and go to your inventory my friends uh, let me just go really quick now here are the three boxes that i have just collected and three boxes actually have uh, impine stone selection boxes and let me show you that how to get uh, the most appropriate stone for your character now first one will be the circle imprint stone we are going to go ahead and select one as you can see that there is a bunch of stone right here but the first one is attack one this one this is going to increase attack by 10 percent from here and once again 10 percent from here that is basically a double attack stone so we are going to get this one and I'm not going to talk about the others so basically you need to forget these stones don't get them just go for the attack without any hesitation my friends so we got just collected our first stone on the second same thing right here once again we are going to get this double attack stone 
let's just get it simple thing my friend simple equation you don't have to be a scientist for this and once again for the hexagon we're getting this double attack once again so lot of lot of attacks man lot of attacks as much as we can actually put to our character that will be really really dope for all of us my friends so we go to a character it's kind of hard to find where he is right now i don't even have any idea oh my god oh he has just leveled him up a bit so uh, now it's time to add battle cards so now our character is uh we got the impin stones we now we will add battle cards and impin stones first we are going to add the battle cards now in this section we are of course going to add the special cards and good thing is i have got two really, really looks great and as an attack type character actually this character has a bunch of uh, great card sets out there which is uh, always available in the game for example uh, this one right here, a Serena set. This one can be really, really useful on him. It will work awesome. And also, uh, let me just go this Akane set here. This set is also going to be really useful on him. Great stuff, my friends. Also, there are some other sets, uh, sets, for example, I'm not really talking about the limited banner sets because actually there is a bunch of limited banner sets. For example, this set right here, this is the behind the veil set, which is uh, a limited banner set, which can also be a great set for him because this character actually deals a lot of critical damage. And man, this set is all about crit and going to do just freaking amazing job but i'm not going to talk about it further because this is a limited banner set and not really everyone is having this type of set so another set that is going to be useful on him this is going to be the usual you know uh leah set never this set is going to fail you so you can use either this any of these three sets and uh, let me just check if there is any other options available for you my friends let me check okay so not actually a first set but this set my friends this mad tea party set this set can actually do a great job on this character my friends because once again this character is related to critical rate and if we just check his uh course here you can see that there's a critical damage rate of 18 percent and once again a critical rate enhance of 3.2 percent that is basically a whooping 21.2 percent increase of critical rate from the core itself my friends that is dope so let's go back to our card section and actually this set is uh, going to increase attack going to increase uh, a lot of crit as you can see that it is increased critical rate by 8% deals additional damage to 220% of attack upon landing a critical hit and my friends though this set is not a first set but technically this is going to deal immense amount of damage if you are using this set on him so don't worry if you are not having those sort of face sets like serena arcane whatever i described even if you have this set still this character is going to really shine on this and uh, you know in all honesty the serena set and the arcane set these two set will be uh, one of the top uh, sets for him but that will depend on the game moods that you are using and in the way you are using. For example, if you are using a solo run, that is you are not tagging in your character, then definitely Akane will be a better set. And uh, if you are tagging in your character, then definitely Serena is going to do a better job. So these are the you know, systematic differences, but uh, not too much difference in terms of damage dealing all good all perfect 
So now let's just equip these special cards. And fortunately, I have two. So good to see you. And now I'm going to add an option card. And I'll show you the what type of option card you can actually add. If you have uh, this option card, actually this probably is going to work best on him because first of all this is going to increase uh, attack by 5%, secondly it is going to uh, decrease skill cooldown by 1.2 seconds usually but it will increase boss syndrome fighters critical rate by 7%. So in terms of his uh, own 21.2% uh, uh, critical rate from the core if you add this 7% oh my lord that is going to be bum -er. okay but that is not the only option because that's a, a limited banner character that I just uh, limited banner card that I just showed but uh, let me see what are the other available options which can actually do good And if you are already summoning in this banner, then probably you already got this card. This option card is good, uh, not bad, because this is going to increase attack by 5% and decrease uh, skill cooldown by 1.2%, just like the previous card that I showed. But as an extra effect, this is going to increase attack by 13% for 5 seconds and grant super armor for 2 seconds when tagging in a boss syndrome fighter. Basically, this is going to be helpful for you in guilds. And if you add this card along with the Serena set, so whenever you are going to tag in your character, my goodness, you are going to get a ton of ton of extra damage. This is going to uh, increase attack by additional fifteen percent. Okay, fifteen percent from this set and 13% from this set when you're going to tag in your character in that is dope my friends and uh, that will be ideal if you are using this character in your you know in your tagging in again and again and again so that will be the ideal card for you but if you are of course doing a solo run then this type of limited banner cards will do a better job i believe and and once again, this uh, BS Volume 1 option card might be a bit helpful for you if you are, you know, fighting someone who is vulnerable against this shock dot this character is having because this card will basically have a 50% chance to increase attack by 13% uh, upon landing a strike skill. And actually, this character has a strike skill and if we go to the skills let's check it out uh, this finisher here this core finisher it itself is a strike skill and this is the core finisher that is going to deal the shock damage so if you are for example fighting lunatic mode uh, against the geese uh, then this uh, option card can actually be good for you uh, in in some way so but uh, also you can do go for a simpler solution just do this type of setting and that would be just perfect my friends that would be just perfect because you are already getting this card because you are summoning in this banner of course you got this card and i know the drop rate wasn't too bad in card banner and a lot of my friends actually got even the full set with these free rubies my friends can you believe it can you believe it it's true a fact my friends and this option card is going to help you and just add another cooldown reduction card which will also going to boost up your skill cooldown reduction thing and basically you will be able to spam uh, skill cooldown um, skills as uh, spam your skills yet more faster and that is going to be dope my friends now let me just uh, level up these cards really really quick 
atas i can actually pause the video i don't know what to do uh i really love these things uh, and personally i would love to see these things later maybe a year later maybe i don't know so why not record them i actually running a kind of low with this type of things so i better be cautious uh okay okay let's just do it man come on it's a beautiful card my friends by the way it's a very very beautiful card and let's do it okay by the way we can also transcend these cards and get extra benefits from this transcend option but uh, i have separate videos on that so i'm not going to talk about it in this video right now so we are done with our cards now let's move on to the next and most important section that would be the imprint stone now we have already got our imprint stones now just let's uh, go and select our imprint stones as you can see we have a bunch of imprint stones here and this is the boss syndrome volume 4 attack plus impune stone now for now i'm going to add this but and this will be the boss syndrome volume 4 stone so for now let me just equip this uh, to the character but i actually have a problem with these stones and if you go to check the stones secondary effect this is going to increase the power charge rate of boss syndrome fighters by 3%. Now, this is of course good, of course this is great, but the problem is uh, this character may not actually need that power charge rate because this character actually has a lot of skill reset option which is going to allow him uh, to gain a lot of power and also in his core he has an ideal 30% power charge rate which is really really amazing so I am kind of uh, in a thought that whether this stone will be necessary or not because we can actually add a better stone in, in, in this place and that will be a gold stone which uh, this one is going to you know first ignore the first one i of course going to attack do the double attack but on the secondary effect that it is going to increase bleed damage deal by 10 percent upon using a hand awaken skill and bleed is a, a very powerful dot in this character so you can actually try out with these stones but i would suggest just for now go with the whatever stone you are here having this normal stone which is i'm also adding but later we might do some experiment and i actually do some i will actually do some experiment when i will have that perfect red stone which is going to do the double attack thing and also increase either shock or maybe bleeding bleeding would be the most important i guess bleeding is perfect so for the next hexagon slot we have also already selected this boss syndrome uh, volume 4 stone which is going to increase double attack of course 10 percent attack from here 10 percent attack from here and in the secondary effect is going to increase boss syndrome fighters critical damage by 10 percent and this is dope my friends really great and let's equip this to uh, the character and on the hexagon this stone we have this is going to increase once again 10% uh, attack on first and th third uh, effect and the second effect is going to increase active skill damage dealt by boss syndrome fighters by 1% I mean 10% actually this is massive my friend this is actually a great 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 stone so no need to think twice let's just equip the stone to the one who belongs who deserves but later probably i might change the stones and do some experiments and also i would like to i will also share these results 
uh, to you but for now go with these stones perfectly all right and great stones my friends even better than the previous boss syndrome banner stones which were actually not that good okay so we are done with our first three slots and ideally these three stones will be the best of course but uh, you know if if you want you can do some experiments this not there is no problem with that but there is no need also as well because this character is already so strong so strong my friends now let's talk about the star and moon imprint stones my friends and regarding these options actually there are two ways to go uh, first way is to equip both attack and bleeding stone here for example uh, this stone right here this is going to increase attack by 10 percent and going to increase bleed damage by uh, 10 percent so this is going to be massive my friends so you can actually add both star and moon with this this sort of effects but also you can do one thing that uh, maybe you can also equip one uh, star with a bleed and one moon or star with shock because shock is also another dot that is going to be immensely helpful especially in guild raids so in anyways you can go either with double bleed or one bleed one shock but must keep at least one bleed attack and as you can see there are many bleed stones here or uh, so sorry there are many bleed stones like this which are going to increase HP. Do not use this one my friends. Just use the attack once. Like for example this one. This is going to increase attack by 10% and going to increase bleed damage by 10%. And let me just unpair this one. Using this one unpair kit unpaired. Now we are going to attack this imprint stone to our character and luckily this is fully leveled up already i already did this level up so let me just add this imprint stone okay let's just equip it and it is so amazing that we can actually unpair these imprint stones which was uh, impossible for silver type of imprint stones or any other gold imprint stones or whatever but unpairing this ability is going to give uh, us a lot of flexibility and I really, really appreciate Netmarble's initiative on this. Now about the star in pin stone, actually I add can add any other bleeding. Let me check it out if I can have one. For example, you can see I have already this bleeding and it's going to attack increase attack by 10% and 10% bleeding damage by 10%. So let's just unpair this from uh sorry bs or ochi i have to do this my friend i have to do this i have to use another of this unpaired kit which is really really very rare and anyways let me just add this stone which is going to increase attack by 10 percent increase bleeding damage by four percent but uh, the thing is uh, i can actually also add any shock damage dealing stone as well because this character also has shock but unfortunately i don't see any much shock option in my inventory so let's go ahead with this and uh, both bleeding stone and uh, now let me just pause the screen and enhance these imprint stones as you can know that we can actually enhance this from this portion and let me just enhance consecutively Oh, come on what happened okay we pause the screen oh my goodness this enhancement took a lot of lot of hammers my friends now let me just pause the screen and once again enhance all these imprint stones right here my friends because we need them so finally we are done with our imprint stones and it took an awfully long time and i think that marvel should really do something about it because just it is just simple waste of time and the rate of success rate of hammers is way worse and now you can see the cp three star character no 
you know card enhancement or any card send card transcend process or anything added but still we are having already 90,741 CP my friend that is massive for a three star character great great job and if we compare the CP of this three star BS Ignis to the four star SSQ who also has the same type of card set even a better because his two of his three PGs are fully maxed up also this card is transcended as well this card is also transcended so there are some extra CPs from here but still he is a four star awakening character he's having only 93,700 CP while our BS Gainis is having only 90,000 CP with 3 star only 3 star awakening and nothing much in this card department whatsoever so uh, not too much but still Gainis will get a bit more CP than Kyo uh, SSQ uh, but of course there are certain differences in attack defense and HP stats of course uh, because he is a 3 star character and SSQ is a 4 star character and let me show you the differences and as you can see the attack amount of SSQ attack is about 95,000 so, uh, attack uh, defense is about 17,000 and in BS Guinness we have attack on the 89,000 defense 16,000 something so these are the differences that you will get whenever you will awaken your character further so of course you will get some benefits definitely no doubt because you are leveling up your character even more but uh, you know the costs you know what it takes now my friends we are done with the building now it's time for a test so now i'm going to test him against rugal in expert mood where actually you need uh, darkness in order to break the middle of the boss and deal more damages etc etc and all you need is the score of uh, let me just show you let me just show you that you will need only 408.2 that is basically 409 million damage to clear this expert mood and basically this expert mood will require darkness but today's gameplay my friends we're going to use this guy and only this guy and try to clear this uh, no, no, expert mood uh, and uh, of course this will not be an ideal run definitely because this is the first time and as you guys guys can see that uh, I just leveled him up and, and now I'm going to just fight against the boss. So what I think that uh, basically I did some uh, testing on this and you will notice that this uh, some when I'm going to tap this uh, active skills that is this one. The third one. And if I start battle with this one, this will instantly generate a shield. But if I start the battle with any other skill, probably it will not generate a shield. It really depends. Uh, I'm not really sure about it, but I'll start with this one. And the basic thing that the whenever you are going to press the uh, active skill, uh, it will definitely going to increase your uh, PG gain. So let's get into the gameplay guys without any issues and we are going to use this character and let me just turn the sound off and turn the gameplay sound on and I hope you guys just enjoyed this uh, you know build up video of this uh, character and now you know that in which areas you are going to focus on this character and of course in this run my friends I am going to use that same card set that I showed just simple Serena set with that option card along with a cooldown reduction card nothing fancy nothing really special very in-game uh, free fast cards so enjoy the gameplay my friends and if you find this video useful in any ways give this video a like and subscribe to my channel my friends hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends